You know, when we speak of Mary and the Holy Spirit, we often uh, can refer to Mary as spouse of the Holy Spirit. Everything that we venerate about the Blessed Mother as a, as a Marian movement, it is only possible because of the power of the Holy Spirit. We recall the Annunciation when the angel appeared to the Blessed Mother. If you are to be the Mother of God, how can this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So it is only possible by the Spirit, by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, that the Word has become flesh in the womb of Mary. Now, in our image here, in the yellow, uh, that, vest, that veil that she has, we can see the movement of the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit upon our Blessed Mother. And a reminder that who is the Holy Spirit for us? Well, when we ask our Blessed Mother to come down into this wayside shrine, when we ask our Blessed Mother to come into our home shrine, that is possible by the power of the Holy Spirit. And why do we ask the Blessed Mother by the power of the Holy Spirit to be present here? Because we want to be like the child Jesus. So she comes by the power of the Holy Spirit to help us and to conform us ever more to the person of Jesus Christ. Because we aspire for the greatest ideals of holiness. That same overshadowing of the Holy Spirit is what then leads us to her heart. One heart. The Holy Spirit is the great unifier. We hear in the reading today how many languages, many cultures, many people, yet one heart, one heart. Spirit. It is the Spirit that unifies the heart between Mary and Jesus. It is the Holy Spirit that unifies us in one heart, in the heart of Christ, united to Mary. And then from, we go up, she's overshadowed, the heart that is hidden in the inmost depths of that beautiful relationship between the child and the mother. And then that same yellow mantle wraps the child Jesus three times as a symbol that we need to be really wrapped up with the Spirit in order to do what? In order to then be able to flow as an instrument of the Holy Spirit to others. Mary intercedes for us that we, just as she did on Pentecost, interceded and was part of the apostles when uh, the Spirit came, we ask that the same Spirit uh, be with us as we start a new project. And the project will take the next five months. What we would like to do is to crown our Blessed Mother. I mentioned it last 18th. Uh, that would be April 15th. I mentioned it. And today I'm going to go a little bit more in depth of how we're going to crown our Blessed Mother. So let us first recall the, that she is here. Her throne is here. Our Blessed Mother said, I want to be enthroned here. And she is now here by the power of the Holy Spirit. She is the queen enthroned, and most appropriate would be for her to have a crown. So that will be the project that will be working the next five months to crown her as the queen of covenant and as the heart of the home shrine. So first into English. I hope you have the piece of sheet that has been passed around. Uh, if you don't, okay. And I'm going to go through it because this will be our new uh, project that we're going to work on as a uh, as a family of church that on starting today asking for the Holy Spirit that it will be by the power of the Holy Spirit that we will be able to crown her. She called us, I want to be enthroned. We built the throne. She was asked her to take possession. She's here by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, come October the 18th, we would like to crown her. A queen with a crown. And we would like to crown her with this name. The Covenant Queen and the Heart of Home Shrine. She is the queen, queen of our covenants. We've made a covenant with her. We have taken her home. She is the heart of our home shrine. And in doing so, as we crown her October 18th, we'll be celebrating the one year since this was uh, this wayside shrine was blessed by our bishop. 
and also the fifth year anniversary from the beginnings of Schoenstedt Tampa Bay. Now there's three specific graces that today in this vigil of Pentecost we ask to receive through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. One is commitment. If you made the covenant of love, you committed yourself. You said, I will do this. I will take you home. I will build my home shrine. I will daily write my capital of grace. So if you have fallen asleep and failed to do that daily, it is time to pick it up again. You made a covenant with Mary to do so. You made a commitment with the Blessed Mother before God that you were going to do this. And this is how we conquer spiritually this crown to our Blessed Mother. By living out what we commit ourselves to do. Now we also pray through the grace of fruitfulness. Remember, we give it to her and she will magnify it. She will make it better. She will make it fruitful. We are happy that we have this beautiful wayside shrine. But as a family, this is not our end. We must continue in our journey of what? Of arriving to our Shrestha Shrine of Transfiguration. For that to happen, we have to be living the three dynamics of a covenant of love. We have to be the positive, the capital of grace daily. And in doing so, trust that our Blessed Mother will take it, will multiply it, will make it fruitful. And the day will come. I, I say that with full confidence and faith. The day will come when we will have a shrine, our own shrine of church that here in our diocese. But for that to happen, we have to live with commitment what we decided in that covenant of love we were going to do to offer the capital of grace. We give it to her, she will multiply it, and she will help us to fulfill that great dream. So commitment, fruitfulness, and dedication. You see, right now it may feel like an exercise, as a task, as a, as a spiritual workout. And, oh, I can't forget tonight, I have to write my capital of grace. And I, every day, for now it may feel like a, a work, like a task, like a discipline. Good! But eventually that will become a habit. From a task that we do as a discipline, in due time, it will become a habit, and more than habit, and this is what we ask for the dedication, it will become a way of life. Others will be the one who will bear witness that, I don't know what that person is doing, they're writing a piece of paper or something every night, I don't know why they do that. I'm sure some people at home watching you doing this, they'll be like, uh, what is that person doing? Writing a piece of paper, putting it in a jar. Uh, but whatever it is, I'm seeing the fruit of it. This is a better person, a better family member, and I like that. People will see by the fruits of your work, by the way you live your life, what church that is, and they themselves will ask you about it. And then you could become an instrument dedicated to serve our Blessed Mother and to bring others to follow the same way of life. Now, uh, we have uh, in, in the back of the page some of the little details that we're going to be working on. Uh, each month from now until October, uh, each of the groups will be working even more. So come June, the missionaries will work on, 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 uh, in, on uh, conquering the spiritual crown. On July, the men. On August, the girls and the youth, uh, young women. September, the pilgrims, and October, mothers. Now, there's workshops also, and you will find the different dates, uh, and this will be at 7 p.m. Uh, and we'll take the, 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 uh, the four conferences will be using the same name. The first conference will be Queen, the second conference, Covenant, the third, Heart, and the fourth, Home Shrine. So there is the link to that, those meetings and the date and the time. So make sure you take this home so that you can follow along as we crown our Blessed Mother as the Queen Covenant and the Heart of the Home Shrine.